<clears throat> What's going on, YouTubers and computer people and non computer people? Welcome to Know It All Tech Support. This is a tutorial on how to set up a business Gmail account. Because I know a lot of you guys have websites, or you do video marketing, or um, uh, email marketing, or Empire Network marketing, or whatever you're doing, even without marketing, or you have a group of people uh, that you want to send a certain kind of email to. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your business Gmail. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're on the know it all support site for any computer repair problem, please visit, out, visit us at knowitallsupport.com. It will be at the bottom of the video description, but let's get back into it. So the first thing you will need to do is open up a new tab. So I'm going to click Command T or Control T on a Windows computer. Uh, we will open up a, a new tab and type in Gmail apps. And you'll see on Google or Bing, you'll see that uh, the number, the first one will be Google App for Business United States will be the first thing that pop up. So just click that. And you want to click Get Started. Now, this is going to be separate from your regular Gmail account. Okay, this is going to be separated from a regular Gmail account. So this is not going to be uh, your Gmail account. It's going to be separated. It's going to be your business Gmail account. And so what, what do you do? You enter your first name. So I'm going to say John Doe, which is not my name, um, current email. So you can put John or your current email is the email address you already use. Or you could just put John at John at Gmail dot com put in the name of your organization you can um, example well, I put example for the name of our organization the number of employees it doesn't really matter but I guess the more people you have the more spacious your uh, your mailing account would be so that you can uh, be able to apply as many email accounts you need for your employees at your business Gmail so I'm gonna pick about 199 employees. Um, your country region, uh, keep that as United States. I accidentally changed that. Put in your phone number. Um, 1 800 000 -0000. Next. They say my phone number is invalid, which is kind of true. I just put uh, zero. One a a a a a a a a. Okay, just put in next. Now you're saying my phone number is invalid because there's not a plus one. Let's try another number. Um, four. How about nine five four two five four eight eight. Five six. Click next. Okay, now you come to your new online address for Google Apps. So either you can make it um, that it can connect to their server, the freeway, or be to use the mygbiz.com address, which you can put your company like know it all. Know it all tech support or there's no spaces allowed sorry about that app dot myg biz dot com if you want a free um if you want a free domain name from them from for your email or but if you can buy your own domain name you can you can buy your domain name from Google from Google, just type in your domain name. I put know it all tech support. Know it all tech support dot com. 
and you see that my username is not available. Funny thing is, I already bought it, so that's kind of funny. Um, we're just going to go with the free one for now. So just use, I would like to use a complimentary my, my GBiz address. And we're going to press next. And now you want to make an account for your Google app. So again, we're just going to put our name, our username, which we had before was John. Create a password. Call it password. Uh, you got to do a proven robot for security issues. So we're just type in C E P B E A M T U C H touch. Uh, you don't have to check the first one, but I will check the second one because you know they will spam me a lot of stuff. Well, it's not spam if it's from Gmail. Not <laughs> agree. You're setting up your account, and you see that you're automatically logged into your business email. Which I mean, it shows you your business email. You just have to log in. So just type in your username, which we put as. John and our password was password and we're going to sign in uh, you got to put a verification number you can put any number you want I'll just put in my number for I'll just put in a fake number for now or whatever uh, let's put in a fake number That phone number has been already used. Well, let's put in this number. All right, they're going to send you a verification code to your phone. I just got the message on my phone stating the, the number. I'm opening it now. It's going to be from an 813 number, you guys, from an 813 number. And our code here is 959469. And everyone's going to have a different code. It doesn't match. Okay, let's try one more time. 959, no dashes, 464. And again, they want us to log in again because it's stupid security system. We have to do it in an amount of minutes. We have to do it. An amount of seconds actually. We log in one more time. And here we go, guys. We created our business email. Now you can create a different amount of users as you want to for your business. So, say I want to create a new user, you go to this add more users button. Um, you'll go to either you can invite user to add themselves or you can click add a user manually or you can if you have a CV, CSV file or, a, or a, what do they call if you have a CSV file or an Excel file you can just upload it in here and it will recognize it or you can just add manually I'll just put add manually for an example so you just put Bob Shakalaka for an example, and the email you put for Bob is Bob Shack Bob Shack at. You don't have to put that. You can just put Bob Shack, and because he will be a part of your your business email. So instead of you just emailing yourself at Know It All Tech Support, that's your main email. Well, your the main email for your business. You will just put uh, the username. You just put their username, whatever you, whatever username you want them to put. You you just put it on there. And we're gonna create a new user. You can also set a password if you want to, friend. You don't have to. We'll just put use a temporary password for right now. And we'll create the new user. And 
it'll tell you that the, the new user is, is Bob Shack. Their email address is Bob Shack at Nodal Tech Support. You can show password. Uh, is it you might you're gonna have to give Bob his password, which is 83HV7YH9. You can we can go back to our main service, our main uh, our main mail formulator, and we can uh, invite users, update the company profile, the billing. Uh, we can add even more Google Apps. Would be my next video tutorial. Uh, we can either add manage our mobile devices, change our domain name, um, support. That's what I'm here for. And again, you guys, this business email is for 30 days only. So I would rec I would um, recommend that you set up your billing so you can just get that over with. So they won't cut it off for you. And this is your tutorial from Know It All Tech Support. Uh, you can visit our blog at Know It All Tech Support blog And you can even go to our website, which is as4679.wix.com slash famgrain. There will be a quicker link in the uh, video description. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial with Know It All Tech Support. See you guys again.